Well, here's what we're going to be making today. Um, this is a Thai chicken and mushroom stir fry um, with um, green beans and broccoli and served with a bit of basmati rice. Come on, let's get cooking. Right, as you can see, we're coming down to the final bit of our chopping, which is just the broccoli and the green beans um, in this beautiful Thai chicken and mushroom stir fry. Um, that's enough of that for now. Um, I'll get the beans and then we'll start cooking. And we're going to start with our garlic and our mushrooms. Okay, so in the centre there you can see my bowl uh, for green beans and broccoli is in there too. Um, I'm just going to chop the garlic and the onion now and then we'll come over to our frying pan. Right, let's keep going. Um, while I'm chopping these six cloves of garlic, um, I'll just um, fill you in and update you. Um, my cooking around the world, it is a virtual cooking around the world, I'm not actually going around the world. Um, so it's every country in the world I'm trying to make a traditional dish from that country. In the description box, underneath each recipe, there will be a list of countries. If you cannot find your country there, then please let me know in the comments and just say, look, I'm from Lebanon, please um, get some pita bread and some um, falafel <coughs> uh, and other condiments um, and uh, make a traditional Lebanese dish for us. Um, you can even point me to a recipe or you can give me the recipe yourself. Um, And uh, hopefully I will cover all um, countries very soon. And I think it's quite nice really too because um, it would be nice to actually be able to go onto a cooking channel and choose your cuisine of the day, whatever country you like. Just, um, just dial it up and, and start cooking. Uh, so that's, um, that's the garlic. That's my green chilli. These are my onions. I'm going to put half an onion in because this is a fabulously large onion. Um, and then we're going to start cooking. Now the reason I've got everything pre-prepared is because it only takes about eight minutes to cook and I still haven't got the rice on. So let's, <laughs> let's get the rice on. <laughs> okay, that's the last of my chopping. <laughs> I forgot the um, the basil leaves, um, so there's a good half a cup of chopped basil leaves, stems and all. Um, and we'll add that in right at the end after we've turned the stove down. Pop it over there, get rid of this, put the rice on and let's get cooking. Okay, let's go in with our garlic. I'll have to turn this up a bit. I had it down while I was chopping. But we'll turn that up. So that's our garlic. And the mushrooms will go in. 
after that. Actually, the mushroom won't go in. We're going to put a teaspoon of tiny green curry paste in there and some red chilies, red chili flakes as well. So just a handful of those. Right, let's grab our mushrooms. Well, we've got to put a noise there, so now we'll go in with our mushrooms. Give that a bit of a stir around. Get some to jump out of the pan and onto the outside of the cooking service. It's always very popular. Right here, we'll give that around about two or three minutes and then come back. Now if you can see that those are glistening and shining, those mushrooms, that means we can now add the chicken and the onions. Once we've got this chicken browned a bit, we can add our beans and broccoli and our summer sauce. Take a minute. And also the zest of half a lemon. Okay, we're gonna add our beans and broccoli now. The, um, the whole idea behind cutting the chicken so finely um, is to make sure that the vegetables don't overcook by the time the chicken is actually cooked. So if it's cut smaller, so there's two ways you can actually increase or decrease cooking time in anything. It's size and length of time cooking. So on this occasion we've uh, cut the chicken smaller so that it doesn't take so long to cook. Right, I'll leave that once I put the sauce in. There we go. Beautiful. I'm actually going to throw some extra water in there because I think there'll be a fair amount of evaporation by the time the veggies are cooked. Right, come back when that's done. Righty-o, this is all ready now, so I'm just going to throw in the basil there. We'll just stir that in to let it bolt. And then I'll serve this in the rice in a bowl. We'll be back in a couple of seconds. And there you have it all plated up. And I'll tell you that I've tasted this, but I'm going to have another little Another little go at it. The flavour is out of this world. That lemon zest combined with the broccoli and chicken, fish sauce and soy. Oh, it's absolutely magnificent. You've got to try this. Right, I'm going to hook into this and I will catch you on the next recipe.